Hello everyone and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video is about the audio bin. You can find the audio bin at the bottom of the right column of the interface. Within the audio bin, you can have playlist folders and playlists. You can click the plus button to add a new playlist or a new playlist folder. You can click the arrow to collapse your playlist view or expand your playlist view. To change to a different playlist, you can click on the title and select a different playlist. To add items into your playlist, you can go to Finder, navigate to your audio, and then drop it right into the bin. Or you can click the plus button, navigate to your audio, select it, choose open, and it'll import it right into your playlist. To play an audio track, all you have to do is click it. If you notice, we'll have audio metering happening right away. But we have other meters over here. This is because we have four different channels set up on this uh, ProPresenter machine. So depending upon how I have the audio channel routing, we'll see the meters in a different location. You'll also, also notice that we don't see the playback controls for our audio. It's because we have to click on the audio icon. And now we can see our playback controls. We can play and pause. We could scrub through. We could jump back 15 seconds, jump forward 15 seconds, or go to the last 30 seconds of our audio. And if you notice, we can clear our audio by clicking this clear audio button. And we know that this song is what's playing or currently active because there is an orange highlight around it. So if I go ahead and clear, that orange box around will disappear. The audio bin also allows you to set up a shuffle playback filter by the name of the audio and change your transition time. Then if you were to right click on your audio, you can reveal it in Finder. You can change your playback behavior. You can set it as a sound effect type. You can go to Inspector where if you remember this allows us to change our fade in and our fade out times, our playback speed, our channel routing, and mute and solo options. We can also rename it and delete it. Just like the media bin, when you go to delete in the audio bin, it's going to ask you if you want to move the files on your computer to the trash or just delete the cues out of ProPresenter. Then if we go back to our sound effects playlist, you'll notice when we right click on a sound effect, we have a smaller menu. And the difference in the menu is that now we can change it back to an audio track if we want. But what a sound effect track allows us to do is we can stack audio. So if I start one track, I can add in the other track and continue to click on it over and over and I'll hear both sets of audio, where in a normal audio track playlist I can only hear one track at a time. But if you notice it does not set up playback controls, it only allows you to click and play them and you can either let them stop playing or you can hit the clear all button and that would also release them. There's also the ability to put audio right onto a slide. So if you select the audio and drop it right onto a slide, you get the audio icon. And now when you click on that slide, that will play. And even if it's a sound effect, it'll play as an audio track. So then you can clear your audio and it's also a slide. So you'd have to clear your slide. So we'll clear all. Finally, if we go into ProPresenter preferences and go to our audio tab, we have the ability to change our inspector output. The inspector output can be different than the main output. You can choose to monitor on the main output or select a different device. This would be if you had a different set of monitors in a room where you wanted to listen to the audio as you make an edit and not send it out to the soundboard. You would choose a different device than your main output here. Then in your main output, you can choose how many channel count there are your audio delay, your master level, and what device you're outputting to. And the last thing is you can change your channel routing. So you get to see your device output and your ProPresenter channel output. You can deselect the routing and put it onto a different output. 
or you can have it go out multiple outputs. You can choose to clear all of the routing or set it to auto, which would be a one-to-one -one ratio. You can do mute and solo globally or within each channel. And you can also put a test tone on your channel to make sure that it's routed the correct direction. Thank you for watching this video on audio within ProPresenter 7.